I love a good cheesecake. There are so many types of cheesecake out there. So New York classically is a baked cheesecake, sour cream topping, which is delicious. There's a really Eastern European, really fluffy with a lot of whipped egg whites and it's almost like a souffle. But the one I'm gonna do today is a bit of a classic, baked on a kadaifi base, which is a pastry that's really crisp and sweet. I love cheesecake. So I'm gonna start by making the base for the cheesecake. And uh, I'm using a uh, kadaif pastry and for that I'm gonna melt some butter. But it's really easy to buy this pastry now. It used to be impossible, but now there's a lot of Middle Eastern grocers and even online. And I'm gonna add butter and sugar to it because butter and sugar make everything better. And then I'm just gonna mix it all in and massage it all up. Just pull little clumps out and lay them on a flat tray. So then they go into the oven, 170 for about 15, 20 minutes until they're beautiful, golden and crisp. We let them cool a bit before we assemble the cakes. So I'm gonna mix the cheesecake now because it doesn't go into the oven, doesn't bake, there's nothing to stabilize it. It's really important to use a good quality, full fat cheese. That goes in first. Some double cream. It's not for the faint hearted, this recipe. Icing sugar. The next thing to go in is honey. And it's really important to use a really nice honey here. And I'm gonna put in a vanilla pod just for flavor. Using the back of the knife, scrape it all the way so all the seeds come out and all the seeds go into your cake. And then the last ingredient, creamy feta. All of the cheese gets crumbled inside. So that's it, all that's left now is to mix it, just enough to get it really nice and creamy. So I'm using a paddle attachment and it's really important to use a paddle and not a whisk. If you're doing it at home without a machine, you're better off with a spoon and working it. Nice slow speed, let it thicken, let it become really, really creamy. So once the mix is really nice and thick, I put it in the fridge until I'm ready to serve. So I'm just gonna make a quick honey syrup. And this is really just to add a kind of final touch to the cheesecake. A bit more honey goes into the pan. A bit of water to dilute it onto the stove to boil it. Don't boil it for too long, just a bit to kind of get that foam off. I'm gonna put all the cake together and I would do this just before serving. Always a little dollop of cream cheese just to stick my base onto the plate. I sprinkle it with a bit of roasted almonds. And then I'm just gonna drizzle it with a bit of that honey syrup. It's really nice.